I had a request from someone on how to build an exploding car out of Lego. And you can see this this one rolls back and forth pretty good. But in the late 70s, my brother and I had uh, our first master builder kit. It was a go-kart. In fact, that's what that blue Technic beam is from. And so once we tired of that, we worked on building all kinds of different projects, of which one was our exploding cars. Now with Lego, you generally try to build for strength. And when you're building an exploding car, you're going to build it opposite of what you normally would. You want to build it so it's strong enough to hold itself up, but it'll disintegrate upon impact. Which is somewhat similar to a modern vehicle with crumple zones. You can build a vehicle too strong so that when there's an impact, it doesn't deform. It's so rigid, and all that energy then goes into the occupants. Well, that creates uh, causes injuries. So what we're doing is building stuff that has, in effect, a crumple zone, but it's designed to explode. And so you build with um, a lot smaller pieces, don't use larger ones, and build it in such a way that it tends to want to fall apart. And I had so much fun building stuff that would just explode. I'd ram them full speed right into the front door. Oh, I tell you, Mom evidently didn't care. The door was already beat up anyways in the old house. But we'd ram stuff into that front door and blocks fly everywhere. But anyways, this is how I would do it. This is a lot smaller version than I normally would build. I'd normally build out of those big like, green plates that are full brick, uh, full brick height. But I'd use those all up on my Lego engine projects. Anyways, I want to just tear this apart and show you what's inside here. It's not that complicated. What you do is you just simply build so that you have this shaft that goes in here and it's forced to ride up on that sloped block. Now Lego does make sloped blocks that are a lot shorter, a lot more pronounced on the ramp or on the slope, but the idea being that as this axle pushes in here, it causes the block up front to rotate and separate and pop out and when it ramps up it blows the blocks off the top. Now I don't have anything set up to actually show it exploding but you get the idea it's a pretty simple thing to build and it's it's fun because you're building opposite of how you normally do instead of building for maximum strength now you get to cheat it a little bit you get to build stuff that's designed to fall apart and the more pieces the smaller pieces you have and the weaker the unions and everything you could build some stuff that really explodes quite spectacularly but I can show you what it looks like you hit it with your hand and right there you've blown these pieces right off the top now I the way I designed my stuff I'd have axles separating off I mean it would just wouldn't roll afterwards and you have to rebuild it and for a kid that was a lot of fun trying to rebuild it put it back the way you had it and it never go back the same way twice hours of fun just simple exploding Lego cars so I hope you can come up with something uh, that uh, can explode quite spectacularly. If so, take a picture or a video and, uh, and share it with me. I'd love to see it.